What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amral here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about three quick tips on how to improve your automated trading algorithms. Say you have some trading algorithms running and they're performing okay, but you want to know if they can do better, either reduce your risk or potentially increase your returns. I think these three quick tips will help you on doing that. So tip number one is multiple exits. So generally when you have a trading system, you exit your full position size on your exit parameter, right? Your exit parameter could be a profit target, could be a stop loss, a trail stop, that sort of stuff. So usually you exit 100% of your position, right? Try multiple exits, right? Try exiting 50% of your position or 33% of your position and let the rest ride for another exit signal. Generally, you'll see in real time and in your back test, your sharp ratio and your risk overall is going to be reduced because you're shaving off your profits. So for example, say you have a trading system that has a 2% profit target and 1% stop loss. The stop loss will always exit 100% of the position, but the profit target set maybe a 50% exit, right? Where you sell 50% of your position, say 50 shares if you're in 100 at 2%, and then hold the remaining 50 shares for 4%, right? So you, you'd exit 50 shares at 2% profit target and then exit 50 shares at 4% profit target. And try running that uh, with your back test. You'll see that your, your sharp ratio, your Sortino ratio, and your, your overall risk will be reduced because you're shaving off your profits and, you know, you know, collecting some of your, your profits quicker and then letting the rest run, right? Now, sometimes this doesn't always work. Sometimes you sell 50% of your position and then that asset goes in the other direction and you, your stop hits. And, and, you know, sometimes exiting your full position would have done better, but that's all with, with back testing, right? But that's tip number one is multiple exits. Tip number two is using longer time frames. Personally, I don't find any success with minute, you know, five minute, 10 minute candle sizes with any of my systems. They just, they trade too much. There's too much noise. Try looking at longer time frames. Try looking at 60 minute, 120 minute, daily, weekly candle sizes, that sort of stuff. You will find that generally um, you'll have a higher win rate. Uh, because it, it just takes longer for a, uh, an asset to come for, to fruition. Um, it, it just takes longer for that to happen. There's a, there's a lot of noise with one five minute, 10 minute candles. Uh, I'm not saying that you can find profitable strategies with those. I'm sure many do, uh, but personally try using longer time frames um, and with your strategy, rerunning it with a back test and, and see how it performs. Cause I think on average, longer time frames, you will do better. So tip number two is use longer time frames than minute. Tip number three is to try a trail stop on exit. I think this is a very uh, unique exit parameter. Usually when you, um, usually with trail stops um, with your brokerage, you know, as soon as you enter position, you set a trail stop, right? Say you set a 1% trail stop. And if the asset keeps going up, your trail moves up. So you kind of lock in your profits, but instead try having a different exit parameter and only activate the trail stop when you hit that exit parameter. So for example, say you enter a position and your exit parameter is, um, you know, when the, uh, and say your exit parameter is when the simple moving average crosses above the close, right? So when it crosses above the close, uh, you exit instead of selling your position, then, then set your trail stop to 1%. And that way, if the asset still keeps going in your direction, uh, you're going to have a bigger win, right? And, and that way, um, you don't set the trail stop right away. You don't get stopped out immediately because of a bunch of noise. Uh, instead you have an exit parameter and then you, you activate the trail stop order, uh, when that exit hits and generally you'll see some bigger returns with that being said, you know, this, none of this is guaranteed. And sometimes you'll set your trail stop and, um, you know, it'll just go the other direction and you would actually make more profit if you exit, but this is something to try and see if it improves your algorithms. And I think these three tips, um, overall, at least one of them will help some of your strategies. There's no guarantee that they're going to help your strategies, but they are different perspectives, different ideas to think about, um, and, and to try and to, you know, test at the end of the day. So anyways, that was three quick tips on how to improve your algorithms. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to use any of these or if they helped improve your algorithms, I would love to hear uh, what you guys have to say. So anyways, we will see you next time and have a good one guys. Bye.